Look, look what I made today for my new sign. These will be available with my new signs. You can order just the sign or you can order the sign with the gnome. He's shedding. <laughs> hey, Cecilia, how are you? If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, I would so appreciate it. Oh, it looked like he only had one wing. There you go. He's got two. <laughs> Come on, where is everybody? This is reveal time. I've been working hard the last couple weeks. Really, really hard. Um... All right, dear. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Aw, oh, thanks, Cecilia. All right, I'm going to reveal the first sign. This is the one we're going to be working with tonight. Nothing bugs a lady. Isn't that cute? This is my first sign. Hi, Cheryl. What do you think? Did I do good or what? The only problem is... See how it has this leopard print over the, uh, at the bottom of the hat? It didn't come in. So I made it without. So as soon as it comes in, we'll add it. Thanks, Vicki. All right. So I'm going to reveal a sign as we go, but I'm going to start my wreath. All right. I went ahead and I already made bundles. And you know me, I use tinsel ties. I don't use pipe cleaners. Thank you. So, in this is a Dollar Tree uh, wire frame, and it is a 15, 14 inch one. All right. Now, in each section, thanks, Denise, you're going to get about four or five bundles. So, I already made them ahead of time because I wanted to have enough time to show you what I've started so far. So, I mean, what what um, signs I have so far. So I wanted to go ahead and just be able to talk and not be counting. <laughs> hey, Dawn! How you feeling, girl? You feeling any better? Or are you still stuffed up? This is my first sign, Dawn. What do you think? Nothing bugs a lady. Aw, thank you, Levon. She's watching out for me. So, like I said, these are cut at... Hello, Geneve. Guinevieve, excuse me. Oh, no. Hey, Sue! The, the, um, it's 10-inch mesh. Cut it, like, eight, eight inches. Because I didn't want this so bulky that I couldn't fit... A lot in there. Thank you, Dawn. Thanks, Sarah. I was disappointed because this sign has the leopard print on it, and I wanted the leopard print on the hat, and it didn't come in. I'm lucky I got this fabric today. So, yeah, I was making a gnome today. <laughs> Thank you. There's more to come, so stay tuned. And Karen, we got a horse one, too. So you're going to do about four or five bundles in each section. I already rolled them and bundled them. And you know the way to bundle them using the, uh, what's that, the Bodabra. Just, you know, stack them and then wrap them. Thank you. And you know me, I, I love the tinsel tie as opposed to the pipe cleaners. Yes, we've been very, very busy with the signs. I made a few aprons. Um, if Missy's on here, are you on here, Missy? Missy ordered an apron. 
and a sign. Hi, Bethann. Isn't her logo adorable? I realized it was too plain, so for the sign, we're putting a beautiful purple border around it. So once I get that up um, or done, I'm hoping to ship everything tomorrow. So and Missy said, hold my order because I may want something tonight. So I didn't, uh, her order's not complete until after tonight. <laughs> uh. Now I'm attaching these to the middle bars, the two in the middle. And see how easy it is with the tinsel tie? And oh my gosh, wait till you see me do the Probo. I use the tinsel tie. Awesome. So we got three colors here. And I chose these colors because I thought they pulled out the colors best in the sign. Guinevere, those puppies, <laughs> all they do is eat, play, sleep, and poop. <laughs> I've had my share of poop today, let me tell you. I just tried to come down here, and, and again, they're booping. And I, I have a trick up my sleeve. Hi, Donna. They don't, sometimes they don't eat as well as they should because they're weaning, so they're now without mom. So... I just sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese on top, and it's amazing. <laughs> they love it, and they just go nuts over it. And I have a big round bowl, which is awesome because when you got seven at one bowl, it's it's funny to watch them. Let's shift it a little. I want to undo it and do it right. So yeah. So I'm now doing. Um, signs, license plates, aprons, and I've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out. Here's an, uh, a license plate I did for a customer of mine. That's his logo. He's actually one of, he's actually has two of my Yorkies. So he's one of my puppy dads. He's the one that designed my logo. He did an awesome job with it. He does commercials. Do ya? Hi, Willie. How you feeling? Willie's sick too. Everybody is sharing their germs. Doesn't that look pretty so far? And isn't he going to look cute on there? Look at that. So these are a 10 inch mesh cut at um, eight inches and there's three. There's the black, the red, and then the check. The check is actually a um, fabric mesh. Hi Judy. Oh, still in bed. You poor thing. Wish I was closer. I bring you some chicken soup and some essential oils. But I'm sure Steve's taking care of you. Right? Here it is. Who was it that asked? There it is, Beth Ann. It's a fabric mesh. Let's see. Can you see it okay? That's from um, Craft Outlet. Oh, hi, Tammy. Tammy is somebody, um, she lives in New York and she's inquiring about one of the puppies. You guys can share on here about my puppies. Tell her. I don't see any of my puppy parents on here yet, but they'll pop on. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll get them to pop on. <laughs> oh, well, we feel bad. Let me just share it to uh, my other two pages. And we'll get some of them showing up. I 
I keep telling them, don't watch on your phone, watch on your um, computer and tape the dogs on your phone because they go running around looking for me. It's hilarious. Okay, there we go. So hopefully we'll get some on. Who's talking to themselves? Me? This is my sanctuary down here. When I'm not doing a class down here, I try to hide down here for a little while. <laughs> Thank you, Bethann. But I know Steve. He's taking care of you, Willie. I love these this color batch here. This grouping. <laughs> they are so funny now that they're not with Mom. Their personalities are really starting to shine. <laughs> There's Missy. Missy, here's your apron I was just showing everybody. Oh, no. And your border is done. You picked it out, so I will put it on there tomorrow. This is the sign we're using tonight. Nothing bugs a lady. And... Here's the gnome I made today. The leopard print fleece did not come in yet. So. Oh, thanks. So as soon as that comes in, then he'll have leopard on his hat. Thank you. Yeah, I really gave those people a hard time on Friday. I'm like, I ordered that fabric 10 days ago. What the heck? Well, we were holding it for the other. I said, I need it for Monday night. So it came today. So there I was, making a gnome real quick. Somebody tag Lori. I was supposed to, and I didn't. Aw, thanks. All right, so we revealed one sign. Shall we reveal another? I'll just reveal one every now and then as I'm doing it. All right, let's see. Let me see which one. Okay, we have two ladybug signs. We have nothing bugs a lady or enjoy the little things. That's the second ladybug sign. Okay, again, I mean, can you see the detail? How it blends, bleeds out around the sides? All these will be for sale. You want one, you contact me through Facebook, through Messenger. Give me your um, email ad or your PayPal address and your zip code. Hi, Esther. Oh, Esther, you have to tell everybody, we made Esther a logo for her, her uh, Facebook page. It is gorgeous. Right, Esther? She loved it. It has the bleeding heart flowers on them. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The first one, sure. Nothing bugs a lady. Get it? <laughs> That's me now. I'm not letting anything bug me. I've had enough. So I've taken over and got myself on the right path. So we're good. We can handle anything now. We'll only freak when that grandson is born. <laughs> Aw. He's due 
February 29th. My first local grandson. We don't know the name yet. They're not sharing it, which is fine. But you know me, I'll have a bunch of things with his name on it, so I just want, would love to know ahead of time. All right. So again, these are cut at nine inches, nine or eight, eight inches. I cut, actually, I cut the um, mesh at eight inches, but I cut the fabric mesh at nine inches because I wanted them to kind of be a strong base for them, for the uh, fabric mesh. I know, right? It's gorgeous. I just wish I could find the leopard print ribbon. Wouldn't that look awesome? Ah, I don't, hi, Sue. Sue, Sue. Okay, here's the sign we're using on our wreath tonight. My first sign. Okay, nothing bugs a lady. And then I showed my second sign. Enjoy the little things. And we're making gnomes to match the sign. Except we didn't get the, uh, the leopard print mesh, or um, not leopard print mesh, leopard print fabric did not show up yet. So I can't finish the gnome until it does. <clears throat> so there's about four or five in each one. Thank you, Sue, for blessing. I appreciate it. The gnomes are running 22, and the signs are 10. And of course, everything's plus shipping. And, okay, we'll reveal my next one. All right, thank you, Sue. We have a bee gnome sign says be kind and there will be a gnome to match that sign and we have some really cool stuff that's going to go with this sign <coughs> that we're are in the works right now as like um, wreath attachments they're going to blow you away thank you jenny Now, these are just the, the curls. I very rarely do these, Reese, but thank you, Esther. Esther, if it lets you, please put a link in oh, to your, um, your page, hon. Did you put your, your new logo on there yet? All right. So there's the wreath, okay? All right, let's show another sign, okay? Bunnies and bling, it's an Easter thing. And there will be a gnome to match this sign also. You want the ladybug with the sign and the bee sign? Okay, I hope we can get all this shipped out to you soon. All right, so you want the bee and ladybug and both with gnomes, right? Okie dokie. You got it, Missy. Poor Missy, we keep adding to her pile from last Monday. All right, so that's sign number four. Now, let's, uh, let's see where we want this. Got to see where this is going to go, where this is going to go, and then where the 
bow is going to go. Hey, Rach. I think I'll put the sign right here, and I'll put the gnome right here, and then I'll do the bow here. And I may put a smaller bow up there. We'll see how, how we are. Where's, wait a minute, I better I put a hook in this, yeah. I better look to see where the hanger is before I put everything on. And I'm using the uh, tinsel ties. And boy, they go through it like butter. <coughs> and if anybody gets a lead on um, the leopard print ribbon, will you let me know? Because I just can't, I can't locate it. <coughs> Let's try down here. Oh, are you? This one. I think this was from... It was from AC Moore. <coughs> Excuse me. If there's still an AC Moore in your area, go grab it. I know, right? We were talking about that the other day, weren't we, Missy? I think I'll make the bow first, and then we'll figure out where we're going to put him, okay? So I already kind of started it. Hey, there's my nanny dot, my puppy sitter. All right, we're going to reveal another one, okay? And I have to, when I show you this, I have to show you why it why I did what I did you know we all have this bike ribbon right thank you Rachel these are all my new signs the signs are ten dollars the gnomes are 22 here it is follow the Sun and look it matches see Can you guys see it okay, or am I holding it too close? Where is the light? There we go. Okay. <laughs> you guys like my ribbon. Hey, anytime you want to come up and play, you know. All right, so I've already started it. You know how they say to wrap around this one and wrap around this one and then wrap around under here? I do not do that. Okay, I just use my tinsel tie. I'm sorry, my hands cannot hold that small wire without hurting myself. <sighs> I know, right? I love the bicycle sign. Okay, you like the bicycle sign? Here it is with the wording, seek beautiful things. Okay, so we got two bike signs, a bee sign, and two ladybug signs. All right, here we go. We're going to jack it up with the bow. Levon likes us to jack it up. All right, so far I've used this ribbon, and I've used this one. All right, now I'm going to use this one. I should have brought my over. Alright, so see I've got the tinsel tie here and I think the tinsel tie gives it such a, a really 
um, tight. It puts a lot of pressure on it. It really holds it for me. But again, that's just me personally. I cannot use that stinking stuff. All right. So all I'm going to do is just pull it forward and twist. No puppy parents on here tonight? Where is everybody? Tuck it up. See how, see how close to this it stays for me? When I use the tinsel ties, well, I'm not wrecking it. There we go. It just holds it so close, which is going to make it really, really nice to put on the wreath. <clears throat> okay, so we got that one. We got this one. So I've decided I'm going to go to this next. I'm trying to add as much of the, um, hi Angie, as, as the tan as I can in this. You are not going off the table. So see I kind of have the tan, then the red and black, then the tan, then red and tan. So I'm trying to stay with those colors. Everybody getting their signs in the mail? No problem, Angie. We're not going anywhere. <clears throat> but look at how, look at how close to the boyfriend peg that's staying with that tinsel tie. See what I mean? I could not get that close with the wire. I couldn't get a grip on it. All right. So let's do this one next. Good, yay. Okay, Angie didn't see the new sign. She was late. Seek beautiful things. Matches the bike ribbon. Everybody else says enjoy the ride. I wanted something different. Follow the sun. Bunnies and bling, it's an Easter thing. Be kind. Look at the detail. The dripping honey, the honeycomb, the little bees. Enjoy the little things. You guys have to check out Esther's page. told her to put the link in here. It may not let her. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll do it. You should see the, um, the pretty um, logo we made for her uh, page. You are so welcome. And then we have the bee gnome or the ladybug and we're also doing a bee gnome to match the wreath. The gnomes are 22 and the signs are all 10 and it's plus shipping. And the Easter one, we will also have a gnome for that one too. Thank you, Sue. Now see how easy it is with this? I can grip tinsel tie. I cannot grip that stinking 
wire. So I have to use the tinsel tie. And we have coming up with the B sign, I'm working with another um, woman in our group and we are going to have a wreath attachment wreath attachments to go with the honey one the bee the, the gnome one so not only will we have a gnome but we'll also have some other stuff to go with it and we're also doing the aprons and the uh, license plates too hi Lillian So if you have a logo and you want it on an apron or you want it on a license plate or whatever, get in touch with me. I even found these little ladybugs and I don't know where I found them, but I thought, wouldn't they be cute? They're actual buttons. Wouldn't that be cute like to put in different areas of the wreath? All right. We got our bow done. Where is my fluff box? Thanks. <clears throat> huh. I don't know where my fluff box is. Okay, we'll be doing it without the fluff box. And here's the sign that we're working on tonight. Nothing bugs a lady. Words to live by. All right, now I'm gonna put this like right down here, I think, because I'm gonna put the gnome right in there. And I don't know, I may go for a small um, bow right up there. And look at that, no no needle needed to pull that down through because tinsel tie is very, very stiff. Except I made the one side a little too short. There we are. Hi Deborah, how are you? All right, let's start fluffing. Well, welcome, Marie. How are you? Where are you? Where are you watching from? Fill us in. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'll share it later, Esther. That's okay. Esther, LeVon saw your logo. Texas, what's the weather like in Texas, Marie? Cold, rainy? Did you have snow the other week? Or this week? All right. 
wait, what was the next layer? This one. And what is that next to? Like, what is it near? I lived in Wharton, El Campo, Sweetwater. I lived down there for a while in the early, late 70s. Uh-oh, I'm dating myself. That's a no-no. over there. There we go. We got some loosey-goosey tails here. They're just flopping where they want. Her logo is gorgeous. It's so elegant. Has the bleeding hearts on it. We added bleeding hearts. Okay. That's looking pretty good. How's that so far? Oh, time to reveal another sign. Okay. Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. Don't you love the old barn wood in the back? We're going to do this one coming up, and look, I got some horseshoes, I got some cowboy boots, and a cowboy hat. Won't that look awesome? You like that one? Okay. Now, these are all going to be available on my Facebook page. So... If you see one you like, you send me your PayPal address and your zip code. All right, let's put our guy on here, our ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. And, and I'm probably just gonna gently secure him because I'm waiting on the leopard print to add to his hat. Won't that be awesome? He is going to look sweet. And when you get your gnomes, I actually run the um, tinsel tie through the back for you. So you won't even have to worry. He will come with the tinsel tie attached already. for easy mounting. Just ask Willie. She had I she ordered the pink gnomes to match her sign that she had. And I did a special request for her. She requested a sign that had the word grace on it and boots and that turned out gorgeous all right and won't he look handsome when he has the leopard print on there across his hat right here <laughs> yep the the oh I, we lived in a couple of rentals down there, rental homes, and I don't know how the people in Texas deal with the bugs down there. They are huge. Hey, Marie. I said we're, we're, I think we need just a little bow up here. What do you think? Just a little one. 
How's it look so far? God, I think he looks so naked without that leopard print on there. Look at that. He even, his antlers even move. All right. I'm going to reveal another sign. Now, these signs I designed specially for my grandkids coming up. I know. Okay. Dream big, little one. I have a whole plan for this sign. You are going to absolutely love it. And we have a lamb. And check this out, guys. I found lambs to match it. I got them at Big Lots. They're in the Easter section. Look. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> yep, we're going to add another bow. All right, so that's another sign. A rate. I think we're going to go with only the one and a half inch up here. So let's jack it up with another bow. Levon wants another bow. I think we're going to go in this order. Levon loves her bows. And oh my gosh, did you guys see this ribbon? This looks so cute with the horse on it. Oh, I do have a, we had a boo-boo on this one, but look, that was Willie's sign with the boot. Isn't that cute? I can add whatever kind of flower you want whatever color scheme you want. Levon lives in Florida, Angie, yes. I need a hanger, like right here. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to the B line. I have a little piece of tinsel tie here. chasing ribbons. Might as well go ahead and put this here. Mm. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's good. No, this way. So now I just go down through the middle of the first loop. I go down in the middle and bring it out the bottom. Kind of measure it up so it's half and then twist and lay it. That's it. Who's going to use tinsel ties on their bow makers? Anybody? Well, 
Look, I can even pull it and then pull it even tighter. Can't do that with that skinny, flimsy wire. I do not like that wire. I can hear the puppies up there running around. They are so funny. I'm gonna go with two rows of this. Pull it back, pull this forward, twist, and lay it back down. Easy peasy. I know, right, Helen? No, me either. I love that stuff. I have it in just about every color. It's funny because not everybody sells all the same color. I use it as the ties on my, my wreaths and everything. So I usually have to order from several people just to get the color I want. Now I think I'll, let me see. I'll go with this color next. Now we'll go with the black. Okay, pull it down, push it in your ribbon, twist, lay down. Now, does anybody have a preference on what sign they want me to use on Wednesday? What one would you like to see on a wreath? Anybody? Oh, hey Sue, no problem. My son called tonight, I'm like, is the baby here? <laughs> That's all he's going to be hearing from now on. And I have a feeling since it's their first one, there's going to be some, um, you know, some, um, she's going to be in labor, then she's not going to be in labor, so I don't think it's going to happen right away, but, all right. Every time I look at this gnome, it's driving me nuts. I want the, uh, I don't even have anything close to what resembles leopard print. Oh, see what I mean? See how finished off that's going to look? I, I wanted this to match the sign. So it's coming. We'll get it on there. And I'll show it to you when I'm all done. Okay, I think the second bow I'm going to put right up here. And see that? You don't even need a needle to get the tinsel tie through. All right. And you can really pull on it and it's not going anywhere either.
I know, but I want it, you know what I mean? When you're doing the reveal, you want everything to go smooth and it didn't work that way. So it's disappointing. I mean, really all the new signs are not printed out yet. So Wednesday, when we do our next one, I will reveal the next ones. I'm trying to do this upside down. That's what's wrong. Oh, this goes this way. This goes this way. There we go. Let's get this over here. I'll curl these up. Thank you, dear. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some wire ribbon on there. You want the, you want this on it? That wouldn't look bad. See, and if we had the leopard print in here, I kind of left the daisies on the bottom because I thought if I can find the leopard print, it'll be real easy for me to just pull the daisy ribbon out of there and put the leopard print in there, right? But see how that'll look? That'll just like make it. And then I need to find the leopard print ribbon. And I want to cover up just the uh, tinsel tie on the end, I can add some ladybugs. Or I can just add some ladybugs onto the tan here. Wouldn't that look awesome? Thank you. Look at his little ant. Ten eye. It jiggles. Alright, I'm going to reveal the last two signs. You know, I had made a sign for my grandson with this same saying on it, so I can't, I go to sleep counting deer, not sheep. Don't you love those lambs? The sheep, I mean. So, again, I will be doing something with these for baby's room, right? And something with these for the baby's room. And then we have the, the boots, the horseshoes, and the um, cowboy hat to go with that. We have this as another alternative. Enjoy the little things. Be kind. Comes with a gnome. And then we will have wreath attachments to match the sign too. Bunnies and bling. It's an Easter thing. 
So there will be a, a bunny gnome for purchase with the sign or without the sign. And then we have follow the sun and seek beautiful things. So you have now seen the beginning of my sign collection. And I will be revealing a whole new series on Wednesday. Those are going to blow your mind. You are going to be able to do so much with those. And see these match the lamb sign. The little one on the moon. So what do you think? You think these signs are... Ooh, I know what I can do. To, excuse me, my little ribbon. I will add one here and add one down here. Oh, I hate this floral wire. Yes, black and tan. I want that leopard print. Look how easy that goes down in that hole. I just like to cover up the holes. It just gives it a more finished look if you cover it up. And we don't want anything to bug a lady. And they're bugging me. So we are changing it up. All right, Sue. Have a good night. Love you, girlfriend. Stay true to yourself. And tomorrow I'll start posting the signs on the Facebook page. Because I'm on puppy duty. Anybody have any questions? I'm going to ruin my scissors. I better do this right. And then to cover up the tinsel tie, I will take one of these buttons and just glue it right in the middle there. Okay, there we go. All right, so Sue wanted be with gnome, ladybug with gnome. She didn't tell me which ladybug sign. And the bike sign, Seek Adventures. All right. And Missy, you wanted the bee and the ladybug. Which ladybug sign did you want? Nothing bugs a lady. Or do you enjoy the little things? Enjoy the little things. Thank you, Esther. Is Missy still on? Missy. If not, I'll just email you. Does anybody have any questions?
Just know if you have a sign that you want me to make, I can do that. If you have a wreath business and you want the wreath uh, sign for your the name of your business, I can do that. You need a logo for your business page, I can do that. Nothing bugs the lady. Okay. You got it, girlfriend. Should I send what I have and then send these together? Or do you want it all to go together? Because it's going to take me a couple days to get the gnomes done. So why don't I send what I have and then send you those when I'm done. Is that okay? Does anybody want to see them again? Did you not see all? Okay. All right, I'll send what you already paid for. I know, because you want your sign and you want your apron. Right? Okay, that sounds good. These are going to match the next sign we have. If you guys don't have the ribbon and you want to purchase the ribbon, I can do a, a you know, I can do like a little kit and get all the ribbon around for you too. Because I have lots of 50 yard rolls, so. see it again? I'm thinking you do because nobody's saying anything. All right, this was a license plate I just made for one of my puppy parents. That's his business. Yes, I can start making a sign of ribbon kits. Yes, I can. You got it, girlfriend. Nope, oh, that one goes over here, and this one goes over here, and we can do a license plate and, a, and an apron. I even have uh, magnets, refrigerator magnets. They can if you want it. I have lots of 50 yard rolls, so it wouldn't be anything to make one up with the ribbon like this this ribbon matches the two bike signs perfectly they can come with the ribbon like if you like this and you want some of that I can add it this one says, seek beautiful things, and this one says, follow the sun. I can do that. You just tell me what you want. Ah! I'm <laughs> getting famous. Nah. All right, so we've got the two bike ones. We've got the two ladybug ones, and we're waiting on the fabric, the leopard print. Enjoy the little things or nothing bugs a lady. Thank you, Joanne. Then we have bunnies and bling. It's an Easter thing and I will have a gnome to match that. I will have a gnome very shortly to match the be kind one. And within a couple weeks, we're also going to have wreath attachments. 
Thank you. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure. Um, yes. So I can actually add that one if you want, Missy, because there's not, there isn't a noom that goes with that one. So I can ship that one if you want. And then we have for the little boys' room or the little girls' room, dream big little one. And there's going to actually be something that's going to match this. Plus, I found the lambs to go with the picture. So there's going to be a cute whole sign uh, attachment, um, a whole sign thing that this all goes. We've got a little moon on the way that we're making. And this will sit on the moon. So, yeah. See how they match? So that's going to be in there. Then we have, because everybody liked when I did that horse sign, but that sign was so humongous. It was so hard to stretch it across. So I actually um, chose the, um, the rustic barn background. I have a cowboy hat. I have horseshoes, and I also have um, boots to match that. Okay, and then we have the I go to sleep counting deer, not sheep. See, my, my grandsons, one is due the end of this month, one is due in June. They have like the rustic look to the bedroom, and the one that's due in Feb, the end of this month, he has deer. Um, I made deer curtains, deer pillow, deer blanket, um, you know. So that's a real popular theme right now. So there's those. So B1 will have a matching uh, B gnome. The gnomes are 22, the signs are 10. Okay. And, and the bike ones. I'm working on a wreath attachment with this. Wait, wait do you see what I got planned? I'm gonna blow your socks off. All right. So there was our bee gnome for tonight. He's missing the leopard print, which is gonna go across there. This was just, um, four or five bundles in each section of 10 inch mesh cut at, um, the mesh was cut at eight inches, the fabric mesh was cut at nine. And we added the sign, some little bows here, a bow here and a bow here. All right, so if anybody wants any, you email me, message me through, not this page. If you do, I'll see it anyhow. But I have a new page, and I posted it in the links. It's Robin Wreath Signs and Supplies. So you can go to that page and tell me what you're interested in. Send me your PayPal address and, um, and your zip code so I can figure out the shipping and then invoice you. Okay? So just let me know and we'll get you going. Okay? All right, guys, I'm going to sign off for tonight. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be Wednesday or if it's going to be Thursday. I will post ahead of time, but I have a whole nother series of different size signs to um, show you the next time I'm on. Okay. All right, guys, you have a great evening. Thank you, Genevieve.
and and be kind. Nothing bugs a lady. Okay? <laughs> All right. Good night.